today I wanted to talk about the Expert Sleepers ES8. Now, a lot of audio devices have, the newer monitor devices now have the DC coupled out. So you can send audio out, but you could also send CV out. Well, the advantage of the Expert Sleepers ES8 is it also has DC coupled in. So it not only can record audio in, but it can also record CV in. Now, what I currently have set up is on the Dysphonia, I have the mod out coming directly to the low pass filter cutoff. And you can hear it. I'm also taking that signal and coming into the ESA and recording that CV signal. And you can see it on the computer. You can see it on this track. It's ES8 channel 3 in. And you can see a nice sine wave coming in. Below it, I'm splitting this off and it's going into channel 3 on the Mo2. And it's also coming into channel 1 on the Mo2. It's the Mo2 MK5. Now, as you can see, the wave shape is a nice, good peak to peak sine wave, triangle wave on the ES8. It looks really good. On the Mo2, it's not DC coupled in, so it's recording what it can on the low CV rate and it looks more like a square and channel one in is even worse it's not recording much at all now let's speed it up and bring it into audio rate and see what happens see when it got to audio rate the Mo2 finally started to record something semi-accurate but you can see the ES8 kept the peak to peak for most of the time when it got to really high audio rate it did shrink down a bit but the waves look kind of identical from here to here but the ES8 just records that low frequency CV signal. Now, let's stop recording these. And let's play it back into the dysphonia to hear the differences. Okay, we're taking out direct out the mod so this does nothing and now we're gonna come out channel 3 on the S8 and I've routed these channels to go out that channel so now let's hear sounds the same as before. It's doing the same peak to peaks sweeps. Okay, 
like we did before. No up and down rise. You can now hear it in the audio rates. But we want it everywhere. We don't want just the audio rate. Again, input one on the Mo2. You just don't hear that sine wave going up and down. once it gets to the audio rates but aside from that it just doesn't work now another thing I wanted to show you is you can now take this recording and take bits of it that you like and drag it over and play it You can also use this as an attenuator. We're sending it out zero dB, but if we bring it down some, we're attenuating the signal. you have this recorded in you can now change your mind and send it to pulse whip or even send it to CV Do whatever you want with it at this point. Pretty much what I wanted to say about the ESA. This thing is wonderful. It's great for recording in CV, changing it up, and 
coming back to it later if you really w wanted to keep consistent CV going. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.